I'm sure the same thing exists in a tennis serve, a volleyball serve, a pitcher's motion, a quarterback's motion. There's a, it would be a magic proportion that probably exists in all things yeah. power related. If you want to get it in residence, this is a really bad strategy if to be repeatable. This you can feel, okay, I can do that. I can be a doubler every time. That looks good, David. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you guys remember a couple months ago, uh, maybe, maybe a year ago, I'm not sure. I haven't used this in a while. I did this video, David, where I was talking about the forces in the golf swing. Dr. Robert Grover did a study on the forces in the golf swing. So I had these luggage scales attached to like anchors on each side because he figured out that bad golfers use about like one part force going back and like eight parts force going through. And really good golfers swing in what they, he calls resonance. So they do one part back, two parts through on every full swing. So uh, when I was doing that, I was trying to feel like, I think it was about like 10 pounds of force this way. And then I push with 20 pounds of force that way, drop the club and then, and then try to repeat that. So David uh, teaches uh, men on the PGA Tour, women on the LPGA Tour, a lot of really good golfers and a lot of, you know, regular golfers as well. And this is something that you didn't know about this study or whatever, but in just working with regular golfers, I asked David, because hey, I see him using this rope, I said, hey, is there something we can do with this rope to get that force? And you kind of, that's kind of how you were doing it already. Yeah. Right. So, so show me, because in golf, you hear so much about balance, like you go the same this way, the same that way, but already you were doing a bigger finish than you were doing a, a back, huh? Yeah, the idea we do with this rope is to, is we go shorter here, about yeah. nine o'clock, and then rip through, so it looks like this. So yeah, the whole idea is to really work on powering through mm -hmm. as opposed to powering to. Oh, okay, I got you. I just want to see where the wave of the rope goes to because I want to try to get that kind of 50, 100 or one to two for you. I kind of want to see where you do it and then I'm righty. So then I'll do it the other way. I so, do it right hand too. Okay. So yeah. So sure. So do it righty. And then let's see where, so wait, let, if, let me see just generally where you go to. Okay. So I think if we can get your one to be, to go here, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. You understand my logic? You know what I mean? Okay. So try to get the wave on one side to go to the, uh, three yards and then on the through to the six. Yeah. 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 Like that. Whoop. That's okay. <laughs> that was a bad marker for it. Here, I'm going to put this back at three steps so we know where it is. One, two, three. How did that feel different? Just more patient on that side. Okay, so you're letting the wave just finish build more. up to there. Okay. Yeah, that's all I was doing. Okay, one, three. I'm going to bring my chalk here. Yeah, a little bigger on the back. Yeah, just wait for it. The only problem with waiting that long is I'm doing like old Hideki, whereas I'm going here and then I'm waiting and then going, uh -huh. whereas I want to feel before it's done, I want to start back. So can you make the wave go that far, but at the timing you want? Now without taking a bigger swing. Yeah, then do that. Make so, a bigger swing on the backswing. So with this rope, it, it, gets, it can get stuck pretty easy. It's a little too big. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's going exactly there. So when you're reversing directions, it's snapping here at the three. Perfect. Oh, you're cracking it. That's cool. So that's just that I'm giving it more pressure to the right. Yeah, I think so that's what we actually want. faster. Yeah. Now, when you're doing that, when people are doing this the first time, what is the normal golfers? What is, do they usually have to use more force than they think on the back or what, what's the, the correction that gets them going, doing it right? Uh, just thinking about getting to a full finish. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Oh, right, right. Because they're going two. So they'd, they'd be like, rather yeah, than. Most of the time, what they do, this is what most of them look like. Whoops. Whoa. We're all right. We got all kinds of issues with these ropes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Most of the time, they go like this. Oh, uh, okay. There's that's no. The, that's the first, first one. They yeah. go way up, and then they just let it die. Yeah. So we need a whole. What we try and do is just change the whole, like a paradigm shift to changing everything to, from this to this. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So like I said, speed through the ball. Right. Or as Mach 3 says, speed out front. Out front, okay. So if I just do this and I try to get double on the through, Okay, now I'm going more golfish. Like that, David? Oh, yep. I saw, I felt the difference. At first I was, like I could tell if there was a, a thing here, it would be cutting me. And then I, you can really swing it in resonance, sorry, right, when you, that's how you, when you move this way. You want to kind of hold that angle and finish, finish like a, almost feels like you're hitting a stinger. So we're going for to there and then to there. So yeah, halfway. Never turn your hands over. Yep. Rib cage opens fully. There you go. Oh yeah, that feels great. Well, what this works really well for, and I don't have the facility for it. Uh, it's hard in Southern California. You yeah. have a spot where you have a big enough area where you can do this and then just grab a driver. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. That's what, uh, that would be ideal. But yeah, you can set, I, it's not a bad idea to set up a net and do that. Yeah. Yeah, when you see your impact position, you're gonna, you're gonna die. It's exactly tour ready. Oh, okay. And David, you've been doing this and you'll, this helps your golf game, huh? Because you know, your golf yeah. game has been getting, For playing sure. in more tournaments and, and hitting it. And, David used to hit about three years ago. He had just as much speed, but you would hit these huge shapes, you yeah. know. And now the shapes are coming out, and, this, and the pressure's going more yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, the ball, yeah. the flight's good. Yeah. Okay, so so the idea is we could use the Tour Tempo app or something like that, you know, a metronome or something, to keep the timing the same, but to make the wave go one, two, three steps this way and six steps that way. We could put hashtags to to be like four steps this way, eight steps that way which four steps would be just a yard in front there, and then eight steps would be one yard past the yellow there. Um, but right. the idea is one part force, two parts force, and let's see what it looks like. One, two, one, two, one, double. Yeah, everything has to move. Woo. Yeah, to get what you're talking about, it's a much more powerful backswing, actually. Forceful this way. Yeah. 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 It's I not think, passive at all. Yeah, I think most people, and I was seeing this. And that makes sense because same idea with when I do med ball with people, I want to throw it to them so that it actually catches it and they actually go, instead of going. So I actually, we, so it's, it's, it really is doing the kind of the same idea. Yeah, I think it's a huge key to golf and to athletics in general is that something that Dana has been talking a lot about that I'm going to go interview soon. He says that the force has to precede the motion. So you're getting, most people like are getting set into positions and motion first and then getting some force. And I think the good golfers look, it's force this way and then the motion happens, force this way, then the motion happens. So it's the, it, when you have a swing that is being run by the forces rather than the positions and the spots, it's just so much more repeatable. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why in order to throw a javelin the farthest, uh -huh. you take a running start. 
same idea. Yeah, we are, are forced going this way. High jump. Yeah. Or even the shot put, sure, it's smaller, but no one throws a shot put like this. Right. They go from here. So yeah. Same idea, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's creating a bunch of force that you have to tra that you have to convert into whatever you want. All right, that's that's great. Okay, do you have any uh, w one more trick up your sleeve for this before we move on? David does. Uh, he decided that he was enjoying and getting better results from his clients with a mobile gym since the pandemic. So he's he switched to 100% mobile gym. He used to be in a huge facility, but he you know Southern California. You can't Long Beach, California is probably the best weather in the world. So this makes perfect sense. Maybe a rib stick. Okay. You can apply that concept to a lot of things, but this is kind of like that, right? So you go. Yeah, we can see. Do it slowly. It won't, it won't have the force there, but we can see you're going to about equal here, and then you're going twice as much there. Yeah. Beyond equal there. There's this little, I don't know if over unity is the right word, but. There's probably a, a, a Leonardo this da Vinci way. principle this in here way. somewhere. This way. An 80 20. What do you mean? Well, you know, da Vinci has these proportional units. Yes. These. There's probably something in here. Yeah, like when he would draw those fractals and stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah, there's, some, there's probably something in there. There is, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the same thing exists in a tennis serve, a volleyball serve a pitcher's motion, a quarterback's motion. There's a, it would be a magic proportion that probably exists in all things yeah. power related. The thing about golf is it's not really, nothing happens until you make it happen. Kind of like a pitching motion, you know? Yeah. But basketball, like somebody throws you a, a, the thing and you got to shoot it before you get blocked, right? Same thing in football, like you got to drop back and throw it before something happens. In golf, we have all the time in the world, so you can make it up, but you gotta like turn it into. Yeah, that pitching motion might be it because you go here and you take it back about that far, but then you stride to the to the um, yeah full to the plate. It wouldn't surprise me if that number appears over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah, and just athletic things. Yeah, how hard you. Yeah, you can find out more about David on Instagram is the best way to connect with him. He's doing some. Uh, online assessments, but also the, the best way is here in person in Long Beach, California. And uh, it's at DJR Performance on Instagram. And uh, click the subscribe button. We're getting closer to 100,000 and there'll be some big giveaways and stuff there. Really? Wow. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. Can you get close to 100? Really?